Today we want to talk about equivalent decimals. So just before we start here, let's just write a quick decimal number up on the board here. So I'm going to use black, and I'm just going to write the decimal number of 12, decimal 218. Just a quick reminder, let's start left to right. This value, it's two values, two places in front of the decimal point, so this would be what we call the tens value. The second or place value here, the one right in front of the decimal point here is the ones. The one that is right after is called tenths. The next decimal place, so the second decimal place, is called hundredths. And then the third decimal place is called thousands. So please remember that. So that in this case, first decimal place is tenths, hundredths is the second, and the third one is thousands. So what we want to do today is we want to write equivalent decimals. So equivalent just means decimals that have the same value, the same amount. So they're going to be different numbers, but they will have the same amount. So let's just start with a decimal. I'm going to start here using my tenths grid. So tenths means the whole, the square here, is going to represent the whole is divided up into ten parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color in two of these lines here. And I know I'm going to be outside the lines here a little bit. I'm going to just try my best to color in two. All right. So I colored in two tenths. So just a reminder, when we're doing tenths, I have two tenths. So I have no holes. So I have no whole ones. And I have two tenths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a 2 in the 10th spot. So this is actually how I would write 2 tenths. And that's what that picture is demonstrating. Let's say in this next picture, I do the exact same thing. I'm going to color in the same amount. So you can see before, I just colored in the first column and the... Second column, I'm going to try and color in this in as nice as I can. Well, how much do I have now? Well, things are a little bit different. In the first case, I had 2 out of 10 pieces, which would be 2 tenths. In this second case, I have, if I count the blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, there's 10, and then I've got two groups of 10. So I actually have 20 and there's a total here. This is a hundreds chart. So I've got 20 out of 100. How would I write this as a decimal? I would write 20 in the hundreds spots. So here's my decimal place. Hundreds spot. Here's the tenths. Here's the hundreds. So I'm going to put my last number, the zero, in the hundreds. And then the two in front. And so we've got the same amount. The only difference is our pieces are cut up into a hundred, so we'd actually write this decimal as zero decimal two zero twenty in the, this place value is hundreds. Last thing we're going to do here, and you could probably take a guess how we're going to approach this, we're going to color in the exact same amount here. So here's that first column, here's that second, now it's a little bit different. Okay. So instead of this being two tenths like it was in the first case or 20 hundredths like it was in the second case, now each of these blocks here has 10. So we've got 10 tenths, so this is actually a hundred. This one is another hundred. So all together, I actually have 200. And all the numbers here add up to a thousand, or all the little rectangles add up to a thousand. So I actually have 200 out of a thousand. So in this case, I have 200 thousands. So how do I write this? Well, here's my tenths, hundreds, thousands. So the third place is the thousands. So I have to write 200 in there. So you can see I'll start with the zero, zero, two. You can see this represents 200 thousands. So these are what we call equivalent decimals. 
two tenths is equal to twenty hundredths, which is equal to two hundred thousandths. I would get the same amount of cake in each situation. The only difference is this one's cut up into ten pieces, this one's cut up into a hundred pieces, and this one is cut up into a thousand pieces. It is the same amount. So these are what equivalent decimals are. Hopefully this helps. You can move on to the next activity.